Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Alright, so in this video, we will be looking at how to migrate Helm from version 2 to version 3. So Helm version 3 has been released recently and I've done a couple of videos around Helm. So the first one was getting started with Helm in your Kubernetes cluster, how to deploy Helm and how to deploy the server side component uh, tiller and the client side binary the actual helm binary all right so that's the first video that was done about eight months ago and then i also did a follow-up video recently to make helm work with version 1.16 so all these were based on version 2 and specifically 2.14 and since helm version 3 has been released i wanted to test that out if you are installing helm version 3 if you haven't used helm before the command to install Helm version 3 is going to be very simple. Um, you just need to download the Helm binary from the Helm website. That's it. You will be ready to go. But if you've got Helm version 2 and if you have deployed uh, lots of applications using uh, lots of charts using Helm version 2, uh, I will show you in this video how to migrate your uh, Helm from version 2 to version 3. So. We are not upgrading Helm from version 2 to version 3. We are just migrating. So you've got your Helm version 2 installed. You've got your tiller component deployed in your cluster and you have installed few charts using Helm version 2. So what we will be doing is we will be installing Helm version 3 and then you can have both version 2 and version 3 running on your same cluster and we will be migrating. There are two things to migrate. One is the actual Helm configuration We'll be migrating the Helm configuration from version 2 to version 3. And then we will be migrating all the apps that you deployed using version 2 to Helm version 3. So we'll be doing that by using a plugin called Helm 2 to 3 plugin. So they've designed a custom plugin that we can use that will help us migrate from version 2 to version 3. All right, so I've got my cluster here, kubectl version minus minus short. So I'm on version uh, 1.16 kubernetes version 1.16 and if i do helm version minus minus short so version 2.14.1 and helm version 3 um, is the latest stable version so we will be going with version 3 and the biggest change in version 3 there are lots of changes lots of internal architectural changes between version 2 and version 3 but the main noticeable difference is that version 3 doesn't come with tiller so if you remember from my uh, original getting started with Helm video, we downloaded the Helm binary and then we also installed or deployed a tiller component in your cluster. And Helm version 3, you don't have to worry about deploying uh, an additional component in your cluster. All you need is the Helm version 3 binary, that's it. And the other difference is previously, uh, the tiller component, we created a service account called tiller and then we gave it a cluster admin privilege or depending on how you configured your tiller service account, it might have a set of access control in your cluster. But now with version three, as we are not using tiller, all the access to the cluster will be based on your kube config file. So Helm will be using your kube config file. So whatever access you've got uh, based on your kube config file, so that's the access uh, it will have, all right? So for example, if you have got a couple of namespaces and you've got access to just one namespace, and if you try to use Helm install uh, a particular chart on a different namespace that you don't have access to, you won't be able to uh, install that app. All right, cool. Um, let's get some hands on now. Helm version two, which Helm, so I've got Helm installed under, I've downloaded the Helm binary to user local bin Helm. And I don't have anything there, Helmless, I haven't got anything. kubectl get nodes, three nodes, kubectl minus n, kubesystem get pods. And you can see here there's a tiller pod running on my kubesystem namespace. So that's Helm version two. Helm repo list, so I've got my stable repo. So when we uh, did the Helm init command for version two, it automatically adds a stable uh, repository for us. But with Helm version three, uh, when you download Helm version three, and if you do Helm repo list, by default, there won't be any repositories added. So you will have to add your repository to Helm version three. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deploy some chart, Helm search, for example, PHP MyAdmin, 
I'm not worried about any particular application, any particular chart. I just want to show you how to migrate it from version two to version three. So Helm search PHP my admin, there's a chart version 4.2.3. Let's try and deploy that. Helm install PHP stable PHP my admin minus minus name PHP my admin. And if you look at the commands carefully, I'm using Helm version two. Helm install the chart name and you specify minus minus name. But in Helm version three, you won't be using minus minus name. You can just uh, specify the name without uh, the minus minus name keyword. We'll come to that when we uh, deploy the chart. All right, so that's done. kubectl get all. All right, so container is getting created. PHP my admin. If I do Helm list, okay. So the status is deployed. kubectl get all. Container is still getting created. So while the container is getting created, we will go to download Helm version three. So download Helm three. I'm going to go to the releases page. And as you can see here, the latest stable release is Helm version 3.0.0. If you scroll down, you will have links to download. Yep. So Linux AMD64, I'm going to copy that. Copy link address. Let's do kubectl get all. And it's running. And the status is not ready yet. Yep. Status is ready. PHP my admin is running fine. Helm list. That's running perfectly fine. All right, so wget and paste the link that I copied from here, Linux AMD64. All right, so we don't need the web browser. LS, so we've got Helm version 3.0, tar is at XF, untar it, and go to the Linux AMD64 directory where you will find the Helm binary. So that's the Helm version 3 binary. I'm going to move it into user local bin, but as Helm 3, because I've already got Helm, which Helm, user local bin. So that's the version two of Helm. So let's move Helm to user local bin as Helm 3, which Helm 3, yep. Helm 3 minus minus version minus minus short. So that's version 3.0, all right? So Helm 3 list, we don't have anything. Helm list, so that's from version two. So at the moment we are using both version two and version three. So the next thing we need to do is we are going to install a plugin, Helm plugin list. We don't have any plugin, but we are going to install the plugin using Helm 3, not Helm 2, all right? So Helm 3, plugin list at the moment we don't have any plugin we are going to install a plugin called helm223 https github.com slash helm slash helm dash two to three all right plugin has been installed helm3 plugin list cool so that's our plugin let's see what we can do with this plugin cd to play directory helm3 two to three help all right so there are a few commands that we can use so one is the help command which we just used there is a move command that migrates your configuration helm configuration from version 2 to version 3 and we have the convert which converts the apps the charts that you deployed in version 2 to version 3 and finally cleanup that deletes your version 2 configuration and it also deletes the tiller component that you deployed. Let's go there. Let's go through them one by one. First, let's. The first thing is to move your Helm configuration. So there is a help command. Helm three, two to three, move minus minus help. So it says the command we are going to pass is config. All right. Command is config minus minus help. There's a dry run there. Okay, let's try the dry run. Minus minus dry run. Are you sure you want to move the version two configuration? Yes. Cool, so those are the actions that will be taken and you can see here what will be done on Helm two and what will be done on Helm three. 
So home directory is home Venkatian my user directory dot Helm. But in Helm 3, the uh, home directory, the config directory is moved under dot config slash Helm. All right, so now we can do it without the dry run option. Yes. Cool, so our configuration has been done. So now if I do Helm 3 repo list, so that's a stable repo. I should have um, showed you the Helm 3 repo list command before migrating the configuration because Helm 3 doesn't come with any repositories. But since we migrated our configuration from Helm version 2, you're seeing this repository here. So do this testing. Once you downloaded the Helm 3 binary, do Helm 3 repo list and you will see there won't be any repositories and now we have migrated our configuration and that's why you're seeing that okay so next we are going to migrate uh, the apps that we deployed one by one so at the moment we've only got php my admin so if you've got multiple releases multiple apps you deploy you have to do them one by one you have to migrate them one by one all right let's migrate php my admin helm three two two three minus minus help so now we are going to use the convert option so convert minus minus help all right so um there is there are a few things minus t tiller you don't have to worry about using that but if you have deployed tiller when you did a helm in it um, minus minus service account tiller and if you have installed the tiller component on a different namespace by default, it installs the Tiller component on Cube System, the Helm version 2. But for some reason, if you've deployed that on a different namespace, you have to specify minus T and the namespace where I have deployed the Tiller component. But we don't have to worry about that because we deployed Tiller uh, in the default Cube System namespace. And there is a dry run option and delete V2 releases. So what it is going to do is if you don't specify this option, which I'm not going to specify, because we can later do the cleanup command, which will clean up all the version two. And if you don't specify this option, uh, the release, the PHP MyAdmin chart will be running both in version two Helm and in version three Helm. All right, so now let's do that. Helm three, two to three, convert, and the app that we are going to convert is PHP MyAdmin, minus minus dry run. It's always uh, good to check what it's going to do. All right, so um, release PHP my admin will be converted from Helm version two to Helm version three. Release PHP my admin will be created. Release version dot v one will be created. So that looks good to me, and I'm going to delete the dry run and run it. Cool. So now if I do Helm list, so that's Helm version two. It's still there, and if I do Helm three list. Cool, so PHP my admin default and everything is there. So it's running both in version two of Helm and in version three of Helm. kubectl, get all, it's all, it's, it, it won't create additional deployments, but the deployment is managed both by version two and by version three, that's what I mean. All right, so that's done. And finally, we can do a cleanup. Helm three, two, two, three, cleanup so that will delete the tiller component and it will also delete uh, the release from helm version 2 yes i want to do a cleanup that's all done okay so now let's take a look helm list so that i'm using helm version 2 nothing and it also says could not find tiller kubectl minus n cube system get pods you won't find the tiller component because it's been deleted. So now what we can do is sudo rm minus rf user local bin helm, which is helm version two. I'm removing that. And I'm also going to move user local bin helm three to helm, which helm. So now user local bin helm is the version three helm list so we have our php my admin helm version minus minus short so that's version 3.0.0 all right so let's delete it helm delete what we usually do with helm version 2 is if you want to delete all the uh, revisions of a particular chart we use minus minus purge 
bphp my admin but with helm version 3 you don't have to do that you can use an alternate command called uninstall helm uninstall php my admin yep that's uninstalled helm list there's nothing there kubectl get all the pod is being terminated so now if you want to install something helm search php my admin so that's the command that we used with helm version 2 but it's not going to work with helm version 3 yep you're given the uh, help command because you're not using the options correct all right so what we did helm search php my admin by default in helm version 2 if you want to search anything it will search in the stable repository but now we have to specify the repo helm search repo php my admin that's one change yep we've got php my admin and if you want to install it helm install stable php my admin and if you don't specify the name it will generate a random name for your release but we used to use minus minus name php my admin but again this won't work in helm version 3 yep unknown flag minus minus name so for that you have to ignore the minus minus name option and just specify whatever name you want all right so helm install sorry we had to update our repo helm repo update so once that's done let's install that again hint running helm repo update uh, i think the order is important here so instead of using php my admin so it thinks that's the name and that's the chart so it has to be the name first helm install php my admin and the chart name is the last option stable php my admin all right so that's installed helm list status deployed kubectl get all containers getting created cool so that's all i wanted to show you if you've got a number of apps, number of charts deployed using Helm version 2, you can use this Helm 2 to 3 plugin to migrate your apps to Helm version 3 and then you can get rid of Helm version 2. Cool, you found this. I hope you found this video useful. Please share and subscribe for more videos. And if you've got any questions or any issues, please let me know in the comments. I should be able to help you. And I might not have tested all the scenarios, but when you are testing and if you get some problem, please let me know and I will also share with other viewers. Alright, thanks for your time watching this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.